Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. Uh, today I went to the mall and got myself four movies uh, for good prices. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm going to unbox them. So, uh, yeah, they're all falling over. Okay. Uh, bad idea. <laughs> Whatever. First I got The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, hold on. Sorry, I'm just... Yeah, there we go. So The Last Stand of Arnold Schwarzenegger right there. Saw this one on Netflix, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Total blast. He was a badass in this movie. And again, he's a badass in a lot of movies. And yes, I do like Schwarzenegger as well. I feel like some people think, oh, you only, you only like Stallone because Stallone, you're a Stallone fan? No, I like Schwarzenegger, Van Damme, Dolph Lundgren. Scott Atkins, I like all those guys. Probably not Steven Seagal though. Well, not really. <laughs> you made some good ones back in the day, but not today. Steven Seagal. <laughs> there they go. Which I hate it when you can when it's hard to unbox something or unpackage something. There's a disc right there. Fucking badass right there. Put that right there. Next one is Sabotage, another Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Got this for five bucks, and I snatched it as soon as I could. This movie was pretty good, in my opinion. It wasn't great, but I thought it was all right for what it was. Um, David Ayer and Skip Woods did this movie. Also have Terrence Howard, Joe Manganiello, Sam Worthington. It's a cool photo right there. Also saw this one on Netflix, if I didn't say that already. Uh, I probably did. Didn't I? No. I don't think I did. <laughs> but, uh... Whoa, hold on. Oh, for some reason the disc is... It's the wrong kind of case right there. But, uh... There is Sabotage. Oh well. At least it's secure. <laughs> yeah, Sabotage. And the next one, another Netflix title that I liked, Killing Season, with Travolta and De Niro. Um, pretty interesting movie, in my opinion. I liked it. Uh, I thought it was good. Um, Travolta's accent, his Serbian accent, was so obvious, though. But uh, besides that, the movie was pretty good. I like stuff with De Niro. Uh, I like how the woods, forest setting... Um, and I like the scenes where he's taking photos of the deer and he creates like that, was that like a hide or like a bush? I don't know, he, I forget what the word for it is, but he constructs something that where he can like not get spotted by the deer so he can take good photos. Um, I thought that was a cool scene. Here's the disc right there and I'm gonna... There we go. The cover was poking out a little bit right there, but yeah, I'm gonna... yeah, so that's a cool cover. Um, I actually do prefer the poster and the U.S. home media cover, but uh, still a good cover. If you didn't see the full thing here, Sabotage and The Last Stands, sorry about the glare. And the last movie, I, this is the only one of these I have not watched yet, and that's Pride and Glory with Edward Norton and uh, Colin Farrell. I don't actually know what this movie's about. I haven't seen it. Oh, I, I've heard of it before, but I haven't seen it. But I like Edward Norton and Colin Farrell, so so this will be interesting. Unfortunately, there's a sticker on the top. I thought only Fox did that for some reason, but I guess not. Yeah, there's the disc right there. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, I got that part off. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, it wasn't hard to get off. Okay. 
cool. So Pride and Glory. And I noticed Joe Carnahan had a hand in the script. So, and I love Joe Carnahan as a director, so I'm interested. Um, so yeah. So, I got these four right here. So, recap, Last Stand, Sabotage, Killing Season, and Pride and Glory. So, thank you for watching this video. If you did, uh, if you liked what you see here, and you want to see more, go subscribe to StalloneFan03. I'm StalloneFan03, signing off. Bye-bye, everyone.